what you're looking at behind me is, is a dry rice field. This, this field after harvest this year was chopped and then normally we would flood this and with water to decompose the rice straw and uh, that just isn't happening this year. There's no water in the river for it and so this is the first time that we really have had this situation. Always in the past, even the last couple years where we've had a drought, there's been enough water to do the rice decomposition. Um, so normally what you would see here, if it wasn't a drought and we had water, would be water across this with a little bit of straw poking out and a bunch of birds. The, it's a great system. Uh, we, we flood these fields, the birds move in, uh, waterfowl, they, they eat the rice that's left behind. There's always a little bit. They also chew up the straw and, and mash it down with their feet and it works beautiful for us. It's a great system, but because of the drought, this is where we're at and this field's dry until we can find some water. Probably what we would flood this out would be four or five inches of water at the most. We just need enough to cover the straw and get it wet. And, and that really aids with the decomposition of the straw. And, and that's the whole goal of this. And it, it's really more expensive for us now if, if we don't get any water on this rice. What will happen is we'll have to come in and probably work this with two or three more operations. Harrow it, try to get the straw spread out, do a bunch of stuff to get rid of this straw and that's probably what we'll do and that's that's expensive we'd much rather do it with the water and it also benefits the waterfowl